I think Mew has already hit the biggest jackpot of them all with two Olympic gold medals, the 20-year-old has yet to add the title of world champion to her impressive resume. Mew will begin that quest on Thursday night when she takes to the University of Oregon's Hayward Field track in an 800-meter qualifying heat at the World Athletic Championships. Looking ahead to the rest of the championships that are being aired daily on a variety of TV networks, the women's 800-meter semi-finals are set for Friday and the final will be held Sunday night. As she did at the Olympics in Tokyo last summer when she won her second gold medal after blowing away the field in the 800, Mew might also very well end up running for the United States in the 4x400 relay. That race is also Sunday night, less than an hour and a half after the 800 final. A loser only once in the last two years when she got tangled up in a 400-meter indoor race at the NCAA Indoor Championships in 2021. Mew is certainly the favorite in the 800 in her first appearance at the World Championships. For those unfamiliar with this event, it is held every two years. Because it was cancelled by COVID in 2020 and the Olympics took place last year, this means the World Championships are taking place for the first time since 2019. Mew, of course, was not at the last World Championships, which took place when she was 17 years old and still a student at Trenton High. In addition to being undefeated in the 800 over the last two years, Mew broke the American record when she ran a 1 minute 55.04 seconds and destroyed the 800 field at last summer's Prefontaine Classic at Hayward Field. This effort actually broke her own national record that she set while winning Olympic gold by a comfortable margin. Mew did not run in this year's Prefontaine Classic at the end of May because she was reportedly recovering from Covid. In addition to winning a Diamond League race in Rome, her most notable achievement this summer came in the United States National Track and Field Championships, which were also held at Hayward Field. Mew won the 800 at the Nationals a few weeks ago but it was far from easy as fellow New Jersey and OJ Wilson of Neptune nearly caught her down the backstretch before Mew held her off at the end. It was a race that was a lot closer than most anyone expected and seemed to possibly indicate one of two things. Either Mew is a bit more vulnerable this year, or she was simply not yet at peak form. The 1 minute 57.16 seconds she clocked at the Nationals was certainly well off the American record 1 minute 55.04 seconds she ran at the end of last summer. For her part, Mew did not seem alarmed by the close margin of the race and described being challenged by Wilson as fun. Assuming she reaches the final, Mew will certainly face a talented group of runners on Sunday night. In addition to Wilson, the field includes Great Britain's Keeley Hodgkinson, Kenya's Mary Mirra and the United States' Raven Rogers.